Chapter 2 Formulas and Functions in MS Excel Important Points 1. Microsoft Excel 2. Components of Excel Window 3. Data Types 4. Formulas and Functions 5. Copying a Formula 6. Functions Hello friends, welcome to the new lesson. Today, I'll explain you the way of managing the files and folders in Windows 7. It will help you a lot in the file management and make your work easier and interesting. Spreadsheet Many a times we come across data which is well arranged in the form of a table. These tables containing data in its rows and columns form a spreadsheet. Microsoft Excel Microsoft Excel is a program that helps you analyze and organize data. The most common use of Excel is creating electronic spreadsheets. Spreadsheets can organize data such as monthly expenses or sales data and perform various calculations. Calculations in Excel occur automatically. So, if data is changed, totals will be recalculated. There are many ways to represent your data such as by using charts which can display your data in a visually robust way. You may also create different kinds of lists in Excel. We can create basic databases in MS Excel. Components of Excel window Because Excel is very similar to other Microsoft products, it does not take long to become accustomed to the Excel window. However, there are some items unique to Excel with specific spreadsheet and database functionality. Office button It allows us to access the different file commands. The Excel ribbon. It allows us to access many controls used in Excel. Formula bar. It is an area to input formulas into cells. Rows and columns. Rows are horizontal lines of cells. Columns are vertical lines of cells. Row and column headings. The boxes formed by the interaction of rows and columns. Cells. The boxes formed by the intersection of rows and columns. Sheet tables. More spreadsheets can be saved in the same file name. Status bar. There are some helpful features on the status bar. Workbook. Each Excel file is saved as a workbook which may contain worksheets. Data types. There are three types of data that can be entered into cells. They are text, numbers and formulas. By default, Excel applies a general formatting on cells which you may change if desired. Under general formatting, you may notice that data types are treated differently from each other. For example, alpha characters are automatically aligned to the left and numeric values are automatically aligned to the right. Labels Text items are also called labels. Example, West Values Numeric values can be calculated. Example, 142 Formulas Formulas can perform calculations. Example, equal to A1 plus A2. Formulas and functions. To manipulate data and obtain useful information from Excel worksheets, formulas and worksheet functions play a very important role. There is a new feature introduced by Excel 2007, which enables you to create formulas which use column names from a table when you are working with a table. This feature helps the user to make formulas much easier to read. The current cell in which you have entered a formula will display the result after the formula is completely entered. In Excel 2007, the formulas are available in the Formulas tab. If you click on the Formulas tab, you can see the corresponding ribbon display the available formulas as shown below. Following are a few examples of formulas. In the above example, in the cell F3, if you type equal to B3 plus C3 plus D3 plus E3, it will return the sum of the marks of Physics, Chemistry, Maths and English. Copying a formula. If you want the already created formula to be copied and applied in the remaining cells, you can select the small rectangular dot at the bottom of cell in which you currently applied the formula and drag to the remaining cells. This will automatically copy the formula and calculate the corresponding sum of the respective rows of the other students. 
Functions. A function is a predefined formula that performs calculations using specific values in a particular order. While you may think of formulas as being short mathematical equations like 2 plus 2 or F2 multiplied by C2, they can actually be very lengthy and involve complex mathematical calculations. One of the key benefits of functions is that they can save your time since you do not have to write the formula yourself. For example, you could use an Excel function called average to quickly find the average of a range of numbers or the sum function to find the sum of cells in a range. Parts of a function. Each function has a specific syntax which must be strictly followed for the function to work correctly. Syntax order. All functions begin with the equal to sign. After the equal to sign, the function name is defined, example, sum. Then, there will be an argument. An argument is the cell range or cell references that are enclosed by parentheses. If there is more than one argument, separate each by a comma.